Hello, I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon and this week I'm going to talk about adding arrows to your uh, line segments inside of Illustrator. Before, you used to be able to add arrows to a line segment by going to Effect, Stylize, and then there was something that says like Add Arrows or something to that effect. And a menu would come up and you would control it that way. Well, I wanted to be able to do that. I was uh, creating a map or a, uh, something for a client uh, a few days ago, and I couldn't I couldn't find it. I didn't know what to do. So uh, I actually found it again, and it's in a different place. And so let's say you've created a line segment, either with the pen tool or using the line segment tool, and you want to make sure that it's active. And it's not where you'd think it is. So if you go to uh, up in your top menu here, you have your path, fill, stroke, uh, uniform. It can you can change the shapes and the width profiles of your line segment. Then this menu is the one that you want to look at because it's brush definition. And so you have your basic line here. You have all these different presets and borders and things like that that you can use. But if you click this flyout menu here, there's a brush library, and that's where your arrows are. And so you can choose from arrow special, arrow standard, or pattern arrows. And so, you know, there's all kinds of different ones, and I'll open up the other one too. And so there's there's all kinds of arrows here to choose from in different different styles. And really make your designs interesting. But the practical ones are in arrow standard. And I just wanted a simple arrow, and you can do that with this um, with this panel. And so if you want to add just a normal arrow that's it and it's that's the style it's in and if you want to increase the the stroke of the arrow you just increase the stroke of the line and so you can see the larger it is the more proportionate it is to the line segment itself and so from here you can you can make all kinds of edits and change it and make it look completely different another interesting thing that you can do is at the top here there are these little extras well, the, I call them extras, but they're they're interesting because they don't just follow the path of the you know the the beginning or end points of the line. They actually flow across the entire line. So you can create just this arrow pattern shape that follows your stroke. And I thought that was really interesting, and so you can you can get some really neat effects with this. And just imagine trying to do that by hand and aligning things, which with the alignment tools it's not that bad, but doing it by hand and hitting Command D over and over again and spacing it and doing all the fact that it can follow your your stroke is great because you create, let's say, an ellipse. And you get an interesting it just follows the, the length around there. So imagine making a baseball and you can make the stitching around the baseball uh, follow the contour uh, the line segment that you make. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff that you could do with that. And I, I think that's pretty interesting. That's it for this week. I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon.